This video lesson is about segments of intersecting lines. So, as we have previously discussed, meron namang mga uh, lines na naging intersect inside, outside, and on the circle. However, for today's topic, since we're after segments, ang concern lang natin yung mga naging intersect inside and outside. Uh, let me show you something first. So, in among these uh, illustrations, there are six circles and uh, they are grouped according to a certain category. Kayo yung mag identify ng category or kung saan, kung saan nag intersect yung mga uh, lines. Alright, so what about for OP? Okay, they are on the circle. What about S, R, and T? Circles S, R, and T. Outside and lastly inside the circle okay so uh, ang concern lang natin ngayon ay itong apat na situations na to or those lines uh, intersecting outside and inside the circle bakit ito hindi okay if they intersected on the circle if they intersected on the circle uh, kahit we're after the line segments or after the line segments. So, yung haba nitong line na to. From this point up to this point on the circle. However, kung tangent ito, kahit naman saan ko ilagay itong point na to or yung, yung line na to, kahit saan ilagay itong line na to, uh, it doesn't really matter. Kung baga, maraming pwedeng maging length itong uh, blue line, itong second line in reference to this uh, tangent line or kung mag-intersect man siya dito sa tangent line na to. So, technically, wala talagang relationship. At since this is at only a tangent, it only touches the circle at only one point. So, wala talagang length siya. It's only at one point. However, with these two uh, intersecting second lines, kahit i-permanent itong isa, then itong isa naman ay i-move nearer or farther to the uh, first uh, second line. Wala rin naman masyadong epekto or walang masyadong relationship sa length nilang dalawa. Okay? Unlike itong apat na to. And you will see later ano-ano yung relationships na yan. Alright, let's start off with lines intersecting inside the circuit. So, given circle O, okay, there are two lines identified as line 1 and line 2. Okay, as we can see, these are second lines. Okay, for the first second line or line 1, uh, the one colored in light blue, okay, meron tayong tinatawag na segment 1 and segment 2. Let's identify which is the first segment. Alright, that will be segment PR and then segment RS and then for line 2, so ito namang dark blue, what will be segment 3? Okay, that will be segment QR and then segment RT. Now, let's identify the measurements of each. For PR, okay, you have 4. And then for RS, uh, be careful with this one kasi hindi naman talaga siya 7. So, dito tayo magsisimula kasi sabi RS. So, dito, 1, 2, 3. So, that should be 3 only. Now, for QR, that will be 2. And then for RT, that will be 6. So, 8 kasi yung total minus yung 2 sa QR. That will be 6. Okay. So, uh, try to identify the relationship. Okay. Kung hindi pa, let's have another example. So, for line 1, we have the segments AE and EC. For line 2, we have the segments BE and ED. Now, what about their measurements? For AE, it's 3. For EC, it's another 3. And then for BE, that should be 1. And then for ED, alright, 10 minus 1, that's 9. Oh, let's take a closer look. You have 4, 3, and then 2, 6. You have 3, 3, and then 1, 9. What do you think happens? Okay. Multiplying the segments of the first line is equal to the product of the segments of the other line. So, segment 1 times segment 2 equals segment 3 times segment 4. And yun, specifically, 4 times 3, that's 12. 2 times 6, that's 12. 3 times 3, that's 9. 1 times 9, that's another 9. So, equal lang yun. Pero, kailangan yung segment nung isang line 
ang imumultiply, tapos yung segments nung kabilang line ang imumultiply. Hindi pwedeng pagpalitin yung any segment or any part nun. Uh, for easier reference, or uh, another easier way to recall this will be S1 times S2 equals S3 times S4. Ito yung mas madaling paraan, uh, wag lang kakalimutan na yung S means segment. Okay, next. So, for this time, we have uh, lines intersecting outside the circle. So, outside the circle. And this time, we have tangent lines. Tangent lines. Now, for line 1, ito daw light green. So, the segment is PQ. And for line 2, the segment is RQ or QR. Now, let's look at their measurements. Okay, 5. And then for RQ, that's another 5. Let's have another example. So, this time we will have segments AB and BC or CB. What about their measurements? It's 6 and another 6. So, what can we say? So, for tangents intersecting outside the circle, segment 1 is always equal to segment 2. So, yung mga haba daw ng mga segments will always be the same. So, S1 equals S2. Next. For lines intersecting outside pa rin, kasi di ba 3 cases ito na outside, then 1 case for inside. Inuna natin yung inside kasi isa lang siya. This time we have seconds. This time we have seconds. Two second lines. Okay? So, for the uh, for line 1, second ones. Asa ba yung second? Ito yun. Ito yun. So, hanggang sa labas. So, that will be segment AC. And then, the external will be segment BC. For line 2, ito yun, yung dark blue. Asan yung second part dyan? That's EC. So, simula dito hanggang dun sa dulo. Asan yung external, yung nasa labas? Ito lang. And that will be segment DC. Now, let's look at their lengths. So, for AC, that's 10. For BC, that will be, again, hindi siya 10. Ito lang yun. That will be 4. For the second, second line, that will be 8. Total of 8. Pero yung external niya, 5 only. Okay? Sana nakita na yung relationship. Kung hindi pa, let's have another example. So, for the second line, that will be segment KM. Then, segment LM for the external. For line 2, that will be segment PM and segment NM. Now, as for the relation, uh, as for their measurements, KM is 12, while segment LM is only 3 units. For line 2, uh, segment PM is 9, while segment NM, so yung external lang, ha, external, 4 units. So, in summary, we have 10, 4, 8, 5. We have 12, 3, 9, 4. What can we say? Okay. For seconds outside, for second lines intersecting outside the circle, so second 1 times external 1 equals second 2 times external 2. What do we mean? 10 times 4, 40. 8 times 5, 40 also. 12 times 3, 36. 9 times 4, 36 also. Okay? So, for easy reference, we have S1 times E1, S2 times E2, S being, uh, S being used for second, and E being used for external. Last. What if this time we have... Uh, we have lines intersecting outside the circle, but one is a second line and another is a tangent line. So, for line 1, we have the second as segment AC, the external is segment BC, and for line 2, the tangent is segment DC. What about their measurements? That will be 9 and 1. For the tangent, that will be 3. Okay, let's have another. Uh, that will be segment KM and then segment LM. For the tangent, that will be segment PM. 
As for the measurements, uh, segment KM will be 12. Uh, segment LM is 3. Right? For the segment PM, that will be 6. So let's look at it closer. So you have 9, 1, 3, then 12, 3, 6. What could that be? This is for second tangent and outside. So you have a second line, a tangent line, and then it, uh, the lines intersected outside the circle. All right. So second times external equals the square of the tangent. So 9 times 1, that's 9. 3 squared, that's also 9. 12 times 3, that's 36. 6 times 6, that's 36. So for easy reference, we have S times E equals T squared. Second external tangent. Okay, as a summary, it should look something like this. Now for further examples. So referring to the figure below, uh, the measure of KM equals 8. Where is KM? That is 8. Now, well, the measurement of segment LM is 2. That is 2. Find the measure of segment PM. Now, ang, ang point of, now, ang point of intersection ay nasa labas. At, isa sang, at ang lines natin ay isang second at tangent. So, ano dapat ito? Alright, that will be second times external equals the square of the tangent. So, ano ba yung second line dito? Or yung second dito? That will be, okay, segment KM. The external will be segment LM. And the tangent is segment PM. And square ang kailangan natin doon. What's the measurement of segment KM? It says in the problem, it's 8. For segment LM, it's 2. We do not know what PM is, kaya siya yung sinosolve natin. So, 8 times 2, that's 16, equals square of PM. How do we get rid of the square? Okay. Get the square root of both, and that will give us 4. At since ito ay measurement, measurement, uh, ideally, dapat ito positive and, neg positive and negative. Kasi negative 4 times negative 4 is also uh, 16. However, this is measurement. So, sukat. Hindi pwedeng magkaroon ng measurement na negative. So, ang i-honor lang na palagi na sagot ay positive. Next. So, for this given, uh, I think dapat mas alam nyo na dapat i-identify ka agad yung point of intersection. So, in this case, inside. At ano ba yung mga lines? So, uh, seconds intersecting inside. Okay. So, given in the problem, segment BD is 9. Segment ED is 4. O, oh, yun. Paano ngayon makukuha si segment BE? If this totals 9 and one part of it is 4, so 9 minus 4, that gives us 5 for segment BE. For segment AE, 10 daw. So, find the measurement of segment EC. So, for uh, lines intersecting inside, ito yung segment 1 times segment 2 equals segment 3 times segment 4. So, ano ba yung segment 1 dito? Okay, that will be BE. Segment 2 will be ED. Segment 3 will be AE. And segment 4 will be EC. Now, palitan natin lahat ng alam natin. That will be 5 times 4 equals 10 times, we do not know what EC. So, ulagay lang natin, segment EC. Simplifying, we will have 20 equals 10 times segment EC. How do we get rid of this 10? Kailangan EC lang kasi ang matira dito eh. Alright, divide both sides by 10. That will cancel out 10 on the right side. What's 20 divided by 10? That is 2. So the value of segment EC is 2. Next, given circle O, the measure of uh, segment KM is 12. Alright, saan yung KM? Ito yun. And that is 12. Segment LM is 3. Now, segment PN is 5. 
find the measure of segment NM. Okay? So, in this case, uh, medyo may konting komplikasyon to. So, instead na segment NM lang, let's assign X for that. Okay? So, ito yung may second times external, second times external. So, ano ba yung first second line? That will be KM, segment KM times segment LM. For second 2, ito yung second 2. That will be PM times NM. Okay. Palitan natin lahat ng alam natin na value. Segment KM is 12. Segment LM is 3. Now, for segment PM, okay, it, uh, ito yun eh, P hanggang M. Pero ang alam lang natin, PN. So, paano natin makukuha yung P to M? Okay, we only add their values. And that will give us 5 plus X. 5 plus X is for PM. PM. 5 plus X. And then times NM, which is X. And that will give us 5 times X is 5X. X times X is X squared. Alright, ganyan. Now, i -re rearrange lang to. Para mas maayos isulat, that will give us x squared plus 5x. And then transpose positive 36 magiging negative 36. Ito na yung solving quadratic. Uh, yung naglalagay tayo ng dalawang quantity and an x. So ang tanong ngayon dito, ganito. Maghanap ng dalawang numbers kapag inad 5, kapag minultiply negative 36. Kapag inad 5, kapag minultiply negative 36. Alright, that will be positive 9 and negative 4. So, the values of x here will be, for positive 9, uh, tinatranspose to eh, bali gagawin x plus 9 equals 0. Pero para mas madali, change the sign. That will be negative 9. And for x minus 4, the value of x will be 4. However, since we are dealing with measurements, dealing with measurements, Ang kailangan lang natin palagi ay yung positive value of our x. Therefore, x equals 4. And that is the length of segment NM. I guess that's it. Thank you.